everyone welcome back to my channel today I wanted to give you guys a tour of my craft area so I mentioned that I did reorganize my furniture and I just kind of gave it a different layout and actually you guys I love this layout so much better than what I previously had and I will pretty much tell you guys why but just to give you guys a quick overview my craft space is in my dining room area um so i just love all the space i have but you know i also try to keep it nice and clean since you know when we have guests and stuff i like to make sure that everything is tidy up and just looks well organized and so i feel like with this layout that i did i feel like it looks a lot more organized like i still have a lot of stuff but i feel like it looks a lot cleaner and for some reason it feels a little bit bigger more spacious too it's very weird um, but we can start over, over here my desk used to be over on this area and so um, I also had a desk over on the other area and so I just put them together because I really really wanted them to be together um, but yeah so over here I moved my two-door cabinet right there um, I just put a little pink runner. That's Yasmin's um, pegboard. She's probably going to take it back to college with her. For now, I just put it there because um, we don't really have anywhere else to put it. But um, I did organize inside my little cabinets as well. So I just have some organizational um, pieces in here as well as down here. I did do some decluttering and, you know, this space definitely feels a lot lighter and actually there's some room to grow in there as well um so then over here i have my pom-pom station um i just have my super cute little planning with ellie uh bell art piece that cynthia gifted me i have some traveler's notebooks that i've made um in the past um just kind of featured up there or displayed up there i have my pom-pom station here as well and again i kind of just try to coordinate it by color so it looks more better um i have these two containers i'm still trying to find a space for them right now they're gonna live right there but i have this little drawer right here a little box and then this little bin pretty much just holds the charger for our boom box and then um, it has some um, wax seal stamping tools in there but that's pretty much what that is and then so over here is my little um, cubby station I have six bins they are all white they're the weave um, bins from Target they're real they're like a hard plastic and they've lasted me for so many years and I definitely recommend them more than like a fabric bin. They just hold up so much more and they hold up so much better as well. Um, I did try to do some decluttering in here, but I'm still working on it. I have just planners in here, um, random supplies that I need to find a home for, um, some more planners in here that I no longer use. Um, some random supplies in here. Actually, no, this is all sticky notes and notepads. This is all yarn and then some more sticky notes and notepads. And then I just have a few of my previous planners displayed here, as well as my beautiful little um, album that Cynthia gifted me. And I really, really want to get like a mini little printer, a photo printer, so that I can do a little bit of memory keeping in this one. Um, but I think that's what I want to use it for. And then just some washi tape. This is actually washi tape that I let Willie use um, for his when he's like doing his like uh, packaging and stuff. But over here, I moved my longer cabinet. Um, so at the top, I just have I still have my Mickey bucket with my pom pom pens up there. This is all things my Peru llamas. These are all my Peru llamas. This is my newest one. My sister-in-law just came back from Peru like in April um, or May actually and she bought me this one <laughs> um, and then I just bought this little shot glass when we were in Ecuador but these are all like Peruvian little trinkets and a Peruvian um, seasoning or a hot sauce. <laughs> 
and then over here i just have my cute little um hatsumiku the snow one i have my pink um little uh llama that um cynthia gifted me and then just a few fun little pieces my dad is so cute for my birthday he gave me this little toy right here he's like i don't know why but it reminded me of you and what's funny is that he doesn't know that i actually love mystery boxes like i'm obsessed with mystery boxes and this one has a mystery figure and it's so cute i love it i already opened it they're super adorable something i'll super cherish and then over here, I just have a bin of my enamels and my bling, um, my little teddy bears. Um, I have all my Dollar Tree type of like sticker booklets here. I have some paper pads here. These are all my smaller pads, um, like five by sevens. And let's see what size are these for and a half by six inch, my six by six. And then over here, I just have my washi um some washi tape and some just little like um cubbies to organize my tablet holder and then this is actually some cricket um what do you call it transfer transfer tape um which actually works really well over here i just have i still have my shelf here it still has my purses um nothing's really changed there um, I still have my little sticker station here. I feature some of my cuter stickers over here. I have yet to use these Chippendale ones. They are so adorable. Just some fun little keychains there. This one was a gift as well. Um, then I have my little washi house and my llama frame. So then over here, um, I kind of just like to keep this top piece uh, bare. But this is probably my favorite part right here. I know it looks messy because I have a lot of new supplies that I have to put away. But I just, I love it. I don't know. It just feels so good. <laughs> um, so I did have these two pieces from Michaels right here. Um, they're actually like the dupe to an Ikea Alex drawer. Um, they're fairly inexpensive. Um, you can always get them on sale I would say when I got them on sale, they were probably maybe like $49 or $59.99, somewhere around that um, price point. But what I did was I took the wheels off of both of them and I just stacked them. Um, actually, I took the wheels off of the top one and I stacked it to the bottom one, which still has its wheels. Um, but nothing much in here, you know, like I just keep all of my scissors and tools and adhesives and then over here i just keep some more adhesives and tools these are all my dollar tree washi tapes mostly all of these given to me by cynthia or that i've purchased but this collection is massive <laughs> and then i just have some cricut vinyl in here um let's see over here i just have some charm ring stuff um elastic bands and I just have some, um, what do you call it, ribbon, some more ribbon in here. And then all of my little adhesive pockets for like my TNs and my planners. So I'm not really giving you guys a big close up on what's inside of the actual bins because a lot of that really didn't change. I pretty much just moved around my furniture. And then if there was pieces from a specific section that I needed to declutter, that's pretty much all I did. But everything else is pretty much in its like same you know containers so here i have all my crocodile stuff um some batteries chargers and all my mini micros and composition books and then i just have a bunch of supplies in here as well but again there's that drawer so then i put the little um filing cabinet here just holds my laminating sheets, some stickers, and then important paperwork. Um, some more vinyl that I had no space for. I just left it there. And then this just holds some um, random cute little stuff that I like to keep here to make sure that I use like a new washi tape box. Um, 
Chocola markers, some more washies, and then over here I have my new, <laughs> my little um, collectors. Again, I love mystery boxes, and these were part of a mystery um, collection. So I got the Reese's one, and then I also got the Maruchan ramen one. <laughs> it's so cute. Um, so I just keep those there. It is kind of hard to be on this side though a little bit because the table lid is more pushed a little bit more this way because there's a lot more traffic on that side and hardly nobody sits here. Um, but yeah, so then this is what the space right here looks like. Let me just give you guys a quick view. So really quick, I could just start down here. So um, underneath this desk, I put my... Um, three drawer um units i just stacked them um they still hold the same supplies as my previous um videos that you've seen i have some extra containers that i was able to declutter and if i need them i can use them i have just like envelopes and gift boxes this is a little shower caddy that i got i'm gonna give to yasmin for her apartment and then over here is just a bunch of supplies that i need to put away but i didn't you know i didn't want to put it away like before the video because this is pretty much real life like i put my supplies here then when i get the chance i put it away and then yeah that sort of thing and also i kind of just like looking at it, it inspires me because it's new <laughs> um but this is actually my newest little planner i just showed it on instagram and it's so, so pretty. It's an A7 uh, planner. It's clear. What do you call it? A PVC uh, planner. It has two um, little button clasps. And then it is a ring planner. And it's a soft pink. So it's so pretty. And it actually came with this uh, little set of plastic dividers. And they have pockets. They have like a round little pocket. I think this whole set on Amazon was like... $8.99, $9.99. It was a steal. So I got that and then I ended up buying some monthly inserts for it. Um, but yeah, <laughs> did I need it? Not really, but I wanted it. Um, over here, I have my Sizzix, just my um, nail reserve um, nail polishes. And then I just have my fun little albums, my artiste glue, and then just some random little things there. And then I still have displayed all my like little BTS albums, bears and and hyphen light stick and that sort of thing. Um, just my little magnetic board with some pictures, my crickets, and then um, I just have a little drawer with extra like little floral pieces. But that's what that section looks like so far. And then over here is my desk, you guys. This is probably my favorite part. Like, I just, I love how it's set up. It feels really cute. Um, so at the top there, I have my BTS sticker. And actually, I just added this, um, not, like, not too long ago. It was in my pantry, but it broke in half. So I was like, oh, I'm going to put this half on my craft area. I just, like basically put some thumbtacks and then it's just it's really sturdy though um so right now i just have my little office uh bag in there but when i can figure out what to fill it with then you know we'll fill it but for now at least we have room to grow over here i have my pink sticker cart um uh, my little rolling cart super cute um i try to make sure i leave a little bit space so that hershey's not like peeing on my stuff <laughs> Um, but then over here, I moved over this little piece. It's a plastic, um, storage piece that, um, basically just houses my sewing machine, which I have yet to master and practice more on. Um, and then I moved my little crates over here. If you remember, they were on my desk, like on this top shelf, but I just kind of, um, switched them out. So I have two crates here. Um, stickers, happy planner stickers, and then two more crates up here of happy planner stickers. So it's nice when I'm sitting right here, I can just turn over and, you know, reach for my stickers. Over here, I have a bin with some fun little supplies and things that I eventually want to work on. Um, and then I just have like my Cricut and some 
larger Dollar Tree stickers here as well as a poster that's hanging. I have my Vocaloid. She hangs out with me while I'm crafting. Um, my little mini trash can. And then actually, um, I moved my pegboard over here. So the only thing with this is that I did lose a little bit of space of my pegboard because as you could see, um, I had to be able to grasp it onto this piece of the table. Uh, it wouldn't fit on this piece because it was too um, too wide. So I do lose a little bit of space, but overall I love it. I think it fits really, really nice right there. And then just when I'm sitting at my desk, it's just so cute to look at. I mean, it's all of my llama stuff and I absolutely love it. So I just have my pink mat. I have my planner laid out. Um, my new collections that I just shared with you guys. Um, I have two little baskets with pens and random supplies that I need to put away. Um, another crate of my Happy Planner stickers. And then, yeah, over here I just have my crystals and my, um, coffee stand. Or coffee, what do you call it? Like a coaster. Um, and then I just have all of my super, super cute, like, little llamas. Then, as you see, I have, like, a clear bin right there I can grow into. I just have my Dollar Tree mat, my Koya mat. <laughs> I love mats. And then I just have my, uh, phone holder. My doilies are right there. Extra change that, you know, just random change that comes out of my pocket. <laughs> And then here I have llama stickers, some more llama stickers, and then um, my little business card along with some llama clips, my beautiful highlighters and cute pens, my llama frame, and then some more little stickers. Up here I have two bins of stickers. Um, I just keep those there as well. So again, I love that I still have all of my stickers in one area. Um, aside from those over there, but those I don't, I would say I reached those a little less. Um, I just have a clear bin that's empty that I can grow into. Sorry if my hand's kind of all over the place. Um, and then I just kind of reorganized my little pegboards right there to feature my cutest keychains, some BTS, um, stickers and then here i have my bin with my most used uh metal die cuts i have two empty bins right there i think that one just has probably like random keychains and then my bts uh banner and then down here i have my pink bins i stacked them right there they're actually a lot easier to keep cleaner down there, believe it or not, um, than when I used to have them on this little container. Um, I just have my lamp there for extra lighting if needed. I have two bins that just have random stuff that I have to put away. Um, but once those items are put away, um, those bins are practically empty. So I can always go into them. I have some more space here as well as down here. Bottom bin is empty, The um, but those two bins are for Yasmin's stuff. Um, we're going to have to start packing her up for her um, school apartment soon, so I'll be giving those to her. But that's pretty much it, you guys. That's my... Oh, and then, duh, on this side, um, I rearranged it a little bit as well. Um, I did move over... Oh, yes. So this little cart right here, um, these two pieces actually were never on this side, but I have my two little um, additional unit pieces there with my gray bins. I have my holiday collections there, so just so that you can quickly see. Then I still have my advent calendar up here that I still want to work on. I'll eventually find the time to do it. Um, and then over here, I still have my cute little purses hanging, my little lemon bag. I have my 12 by 12 paper pads and some collections here. Bins with um, just, you know, um, supplies. My printer, and then that's my work bag. I keep it there because um, that's where I pretty much like to keep it when I head out for work. I have some storage bins here with all my little like coin bags, wallets, and stuff like that. My planner society bin. That's a bin that just has um, random stuff. 
that I need to find a home for. And then in there, in this one right here, I just keep my um, backdrop curtains. And then this drawer, or this unit right here, I really have to go through. Here, I'll just give you guys a quick overview of that. Oh, and then right here, I have my yarn tree. And then this holds all of my scraps um, from paper that I've used before. Um, but yes, then this one, I really have to go through this one. There's a lot of just planners in there that I don't use anymore or that probably expired in some way. So I really need to clean that up anyway, like just in general. I have my little trolley there with all of my notebooks um, from, you know, like Dollar Tree journals and that kind of thing. Um, and then over here, I just have my little display with all my cute little trinkets, my label maker, super cute pens, my Vocaloid pixel frame pens again, um, just some paper clips, um, my little, I forgot what you call these. This is my We Are Memory Keeper. No, this is my Heidi Swap. Oh my gosh, memory dex cards. <laughs> I was going blank. Some pens. And then in here, this remains the same. It just has some of my most used washi tape over here. I would say these are all my most used washi tape. Um, I have my old dies in there. Planner Society washi tape. Um, these are new, like, little pieces. And then just some more random washi tape but I do tend to gravitate towards these a lot more um but okay yeah now that's pretty much it you guys that is my planner and craft area I just I absolutely love it it makes me happy being you know here and just seeing my space and I love that I've been able to keep up with it and that sort of thing but yeah, that's pretty much it, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments down below. Um, make sure you hit that subscribe button to join me and my little planning family. And have a wonderful rest of your day and a great weekend ahead. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.